to start with. Okay. Okay, so there, I'll read the example for you guys for, for pronunciation practice, okay? Toshokan de zashi wo yomimasu ka? How many people would answer yes to that question? No. Toshokan de zashi wo yomimasu ka? Does anybody... First of all, does anybody understand the question? Um, something about the library? It's, okay. Do you read magazines at the library? Right. No. Okay. Does anybody here read magazines at the library? Ever? I spend, yeah. no, if I go to the library, yeah. I just spend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's practice how you would answer in the negative. version of the verb, either the positive or the negative, depending on whether you're answering yes or no, right? You can repeat that the whole question if you want to, and just change the ending. Okay, so, ie yomimasen, or, ie toshokan de zashi wo yomimasen, or if you wanted to specify that although you do thi things at the library, you don't read magazines at the library, you could say, ie Zashi wo yomimasen. You could just, and then you could continue with demo, ho no yomimasu. I do read books in the library. Or demo, benkyo shimasu. I do study at the library. Hi. That answered your question. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, let's see. Does anyone have a question that they wanted to be able to ask and they weren't sure how to put it together? Okay, do you want me to give you some English sentences to try to translate? Yeah. Okay, and then I could also say some sentences in Japanese and see if you understand them or not. Yeah. Okay, how about, do you often eat sushi? No. I'm asking how would you put that together in Japanese? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, how would you put the question together? Uh, Anybody? Yeah. Sushi. 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 It's not commonly put in. Okay. And how inappropriate is aitsu? Aitsu. Aitsu. Yeah. That first of all, that that person over there, not you. Yeah. I, well, it's usually referring to someone like even out of earshot, so that they they'd never know you called them that. Right. Aitsu. Because it's basically like saying that idiot, that jerk, yeah, that. I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That bleep bleep bleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that's. You remember the koritori are? Koitsu, soitsu, and aitsu are very rude equivalents in terms of this person here, that person that I'm talking to or near you, and that person way over there. Um, that's who they're referring to, but all of those are extremely rude ways of referring to a human being. Yeah, the the best example I can think of is there was a TV show I saw in Japan a long time ago, and I don't remember much about it except that the little boy was constantly angry at I think it was his stepfather, and when he was just frustrated and infuriated at this man in his bedroom where he was alone, he would. Just say, Aitsu, 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 over and over again. He was so mad at this guy and he couldn't think of anything worse to call him than Aitsu. He was probably about 10, but still. <laughs> how many 10 year olds do you know that don't know any swear words? <laughs> so that gives you an idea of how strong that term is. Yeah. So, um, okay, 
so a couple more questions. So we asked, do you often eat sushi? How would you answer, um, I sometimes eat sushi. <laughs> what if you wanted to say, I never eat sushi, I eat tonkatsu? I'm thinking in my head. Yeah. <laughs> never eat sushi? Yeah, I never eat sushi, I eat tonkatsu.
But yeah, zetaini is just, it's a phrase, but it's not a phrase that it falls into any of the categories we're currently working on. Is that an odd word, or is it like he said, like intensity adverbs, whatever, that have that? There are other ways to use me besides the two that we've talked about thus far. Okay. Yeah, there, there are other particles that we haven't gotten to yet, and there are a lo there's a lot of other content that we just don't have time to get into yet. But zetai means definitely in the sense of I am absolutely sure. But it's not necessarily frequency. to realize that although there are limits uh, as far as which verbs can go with a sentence that has o, you can't use ikimasu, for example, in a sentence that used o, right? But the o doesn't really go with the verb so much as it goes with the noun that is the object of that sentence. Because that's what it's marking. It's marking the, marking the object of the sentence. It's marking the thing that tabimasu is acting upon or mimas is acting upon, or yo mimas is acting upon. So, you know, if it's mimas, terebi yo mimas, or ewa o mimas, right? If it's yo mimas, zashi o yo mimas, hono yo mimas, texto o yo mimas, wakubuku o yo mimas, noto o yo mimas, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, okay so, um, like, like I'm calling someone, so I would be, um, Tere? Denwa. Denwa um, yomimasu. Denwa o shimasu. Denwa o shimasu. You do a telephone call. Okay. You don't read it. Oh, right. <laughs> Crap. Right. Okay. Um, oh, also, um, it says here for our lesson, for our, uh, our calendar that we have a kanji quiz next Thursday. Are we going to start, start, are we going to start kanji on Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday night we will talk about the kanji. I believe that there's kanji homework due Tuesday, am I right? Um, textbook page 91, 94, due 98 through 100, and workbook page 29, 32, and 129 and 130. Okay, I don't know the page number, so, but at any rate, do finish the radicals homework that was due tonight, as well as what's due on Tuesday, for Tuesday, and I will give everybody credit that has it done by then. I'm not giving backward credit for anything else anymore, but that one thing, because I didn't clarify it ahead of time, I will accept those three pages of radical homework in addition to the rest of what's due on Tuesday. Okay? And um, if there are no other questions, that's it.